Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to root your Google Nexus 5. So, rooting the Google Nexus 5 involves unlocking your bootloader. There, there is no way around it. This needs to be done. Unlocking the bootloader will cause you to lose all your apps and data. It will wipe your phone. So, go ahead, back up your apps and data before you start with this procedure. In case you're not sure on how to back up your apps and data, I have a video tutorial for it. I'll leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. So now assuming that you've backed up your apps and data, let's proceed. So uh, the first thing you need to do is hit link one from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page, this one. So over here, download the Google USB driver. So just click here to download it, download it, uh, save it to your PC. Link number two will take you to Mega. So this is for Android SDK Slim.zip. Download this as well. Link 3 will take you to the Super SU thread. So over here, just scroll down. You will find CWM TWRP Mobile Load and Installable Zip. Click on it. Download that. That's from Link 3. Link 4 will take you to TWRP and Link 5 to Clockwork Mod. So if you have any priorities, uh, preferences, if you want TWRP, use Link 4. If you want Clockwork Mod, use Link 5. So that is your personal preference. If you're not sure, then you can just use what I use. I'm going to be using uh, Clockwork Mod for this tutorial. So uh, I've downloaded these four files. The first thing you do is right click on Android SDK, uh, Slim, extract it. Then do the same with the latest USB drivers. All right. Now what you do is on your phone, go ahead, turn it off. Okay, let me just zoom out a bit. All right, so now go ahead, turn off your phone. Give it a few seconds and then hold both up and down volumes at the same time and hit power. You will be in the bootloader mode. So as you can see, it would say your uh, lock state is locked. Don't worry about it, we're gonna unlock it now. So just connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable and now back to the PC. On your PC hit Windows X, all right, the Windows key and X. This will open up. Over here select Device Manager and you should find Android with a yellow exclamation mark over here. So right click, Update Driver Software, Browse My Computer and over here just navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted the latest USB driver. So that's routing. Nexus 5 for me. Routing again. And latest USB drivers. And inside that USB driver. Select this folder, hit OK, click Next. Now the Android bootloader interface has been installed. The drivers are set up. So what we do now is quickly go into Android SDK Slim and open Platform Tools. Over here, hold Shift, right click, open Command Window here. All right. Now before we do this, go back to the folder and I've copy the recovery file that you downloaded, whether it's TWRP or Clockwork Mod, and the update Super SU. Copy these two files into the Android SDK uh, folder that we extracted. All right, so right now I've just hold shift, right click, open command window here, or just go back to the older window that I just um, opened. So uh, once you're here, type in fast boot devices. So over here, you will see a device getting detected. You will see this, some numbers and fast boot. If that doesn't show up, it means you're having driver issues. Make sure that uh, reboot your PC, follow the same procedure again, make sure your drivers are installed. So now provided that's done, type in fastboot OEM unlock, hit enter. So now back to the phone, on the phone you'd see this, use your volume keys to navigate, select unlock bootloader and hit the power button. All right, so now if you can see lock state unlocked, all right, so let's leave the phone as it is again. Just wait for uh, the command prompt to finish doing its thing. So over here, guys, let's just 
for the sake of convenience, let's just rename whatever recovery file it is, whether it's clockwork mod or, or TWRP, just rename it to recovery. Okay, this is just for ease of, I mean, for convenience, ease of access or convenience, whatever you want to call it. So, enough to quickly type in fastboot flash recovery recovery.img hit enter all right now once that's done let's quickly jump back to the phone so again use your volume keys to navigate select recovery mode and hit, hit the power button so now your phone will boot into recovery so in this case it's going to be clockwork mode it might look a little different for you if you're going to be using uh, say TWRP all right so you might get some errors here saying can't open and all that don't worry about it all you need to do is just quickly go into mount, um, mounts and storage and now select format slash data and slash data slash media yes format so this will take a few minutes or a few seconds to complete All right, once that's done, go back and wipe cache partition. Now, uh, leave it as it is. So now, guys, again, for uh, for convenience, let's just rename the supersu file to supersu.zip. So going back to command prompt, type in adb push super su dot zip space slash sd card slash so now hit enter all right guys now back to the phone so you can unplug the phone from the pc now make sure you unplug it actually and now select install zip choose zip from sd card and you will find super su because we just pushed it via adb So hit the power button again and select yes install supersu.zip. Alright, once it's done, quickly go back, hit reboot system now. So if this were TWRP, you just have to uh, select install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card and select the same. It's The interfaces are going to be very similar. And guys, by any chance, uh, if the ADB command didn't work, you can just let your phone boot back up and manually transfer the supersu.zip to your phone's internal memory and for and follow the same procedure so don't worry about that so anyway it will take about a minute to two for your phone to boot back up i'll be back with you guys once it's done all right guys we're up so let me quickly run through setup all right guys i just finished running through setup so we are up if you go in to app draw you'd find supersu now but just to confirm that it works, let's quickly go to the Play Store, download the Root Checker app, and install it. So there you go, Root Checker is successfully installed. So hit Agree, OK, now clicking on Verify Root Access, Grant, and there you see we now have Root Access. So guys, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on how to root your Google Nexus 5. And in case you need to unroot it in the future, I have a video for that as well. I'll leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. So I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and uh, stay subscribed because I'll be coming out with more videos pretty soon. So thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll catch you soon on the next one. Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.